County, all included in the flood watch all the way over to Pike County. We also have a wind advisory that covers the entire area through tonight. So the big picture, there's lots of advisories going on. There's a tornado watch down there in southern Louisiana, southern Mississippi. Flood watch is up across, well, it starts in Kentucky, goes all the way to the Gulf Coast. The wind advisory is from here all the way up to Chicago. And then the winter side of the storm where an out and out blizzard has been going on. Uh, the Dakotas down into Nebraska, winter storm warnings down into Kansas. Winter storm warnings now in New Mexico for a second system. Lots of stuff on the weather map. On the max track, a line of storms and a dry slot. We'll talk about that for the end of the year, and it's going to be a most fitting ending to 2018, but not necessarily a good one. Heading to the Citrus Bowl, pack the shorts. We've got all that for you coming up. This has been a magnificent storm meteorologically to look at. You've got the big storms out ahead of it. You can see the counterclockwise swirl back there at the upper level low. You see that right there? That's your dry slot. That is where the jet stream is literally feeding into this system, helping to rev everything up and keep everything going. And the heavy snow on the northern and western flanks, there is our line of storms coming through. You notice the bulk of the rain is more to the south. Our line a little bit thinner as it comes by. So the warm front working its way through the area. Now, as it does so, the winds will pick up. Your cold front still sits back along the Mississippi River and your area of low pressure heads across Wisconsin. We get you to midnight. Most of the storms now working their way into eastern Kentucky at that point and then off to the east. Once the cold front goes by tomorrow morning, some lingering showers will be around. We'll continue to stay breezy. There's your dry slot feeding in and that's what we will see tomorrow midday on where we actually get into some sunshine and it will be warm. Meanwhile, keep an eye on these two. That's going to be a little rainmaker potential as we get you to Sunday. That energy as it drops in is a big time rainmaker as we get you toward the new year. Heaviest rain over the next couple of days still will remain across the deep south. We're at the northern flank of all that. Southeast Kentucky, we could pick up another inch, maybe two of rain as it comes by. Lesser amounts as we look to the northwest. But what's really interesting with the rain potential, now that it disappeared, but what we're going to show you is that the heaviest amounts as we get you toward, and this is going to be New Year's Eve. That's a Monday. You're looking at another inch or two of rain. What a way to end what has been an incredibly wet year. Uh, you're looking at temperatures now that are well into the 50s, including the 53 in Lexington. Headed to the Citrus Bowl. Boys and girls, you will need your shorts. Low 80s. There's a small rain chance Saturday, but for the most part, dry going on up to the Citrus Bowl on New Year's Day. Low 50s tonight. Rain and thunder showers around. It's windy, too. Low 60s tomorrow as the rain ends and a little bit of sun works its way out. We get you to Saturday. We're down to the mid 40s. Sunday, we're in the upper 40s. New Year's Eve rain, which should be out of here for New Year's Day. Rain doesn't look good, though, on our sparkly attire we're going to be wearing. <laughs> that's Especially what I, you. That's exactly what I was thinking. I know. Yeah. I know. Unless it's silver, it might shimmer a little bit. That's true. And then on my top hat. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to look sharp, Bill. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All righty.